guys, so that is it. We're here in Detroit now, downtown Detroit, just chilling out for a little bit. The whole crew's in the building, man. We got KBK, Alan, we got Joe, what's good? Nick, Martin, YZ and sisters in the building. Well, we're taking the we're outside. But anyways, we're just finishing up the event, man. It was a great event, guys. Pretty much done for today. But you know what, we're just, we got a tradition. We always gotta get, get something to eat after the event. That's all, we always, we always gotta do that. So, it's like family. Just got back to the crib, guys. Just got back from Detroit over my boys event, man, at the Kicks for Your Soul event. So if you guys are, it was my first time in Detroit. I had a good time, man. Made some great people. People there were pretty nice, you know, to be honest. So shout out to Michigan. I believe it was like my first time in Michigan. So it was exciting to see how the event went. It went. I feel like it felt pretty good. So uh, Kicks for Your Soul, Joe, he's also having another event in, I think, in Orlando. So, and that's going to be October 2nd. So, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to attend that one. I think it's going to be, or, yes, yeah, it's, it's around my son's birthday. So, I got to stay home. So, that's, you know, I got to take one weekend off, you know, eventually. So, sorry. Uh, but anyways, great event. It was a good time hanging out with all the homies again. That's when, you know, the vibes are good is when all the homies come out. We all go to the event and we just kick it for a little bit. You know, shout out to everyone that came through. But anyways, we have a little uh, um, unboxing here, which I need to give a big shout out to DG Reserve, guys. Uh, they're going to have a grand opening in Baltimore, which I will be attending to the grand opening. So make sure you guys pull up. If you're in the area, they're going to be doing like giveaways. Giveaways like $10,000 worth of giveaways, raffles, and free sneakers too as well. So make sure you guys pull up. I think Roscoe's going to come through as well. So it's going to be a good time. I haven't linked up with him in a, in a minute. So um, anyways, they have a store in Asheville, North Carolina. And they're going to open their second store in Baltimore in I can't wait for it. And that's going to be uh, September 17th. If so, if you guys are in the area, make sure you guys pull up. I believe that's, you know, kind of close to DC, right? Anyway, I got this sent to me. So just guys let you guys know about the whole grand opening and all that. And I really need this pair. This is an early review, uh, early like unboxing release and all that good stuff. So hopefully these turn out pretty nice. All right, all right. Here it is. And you guys are see it all bubble wrapped. And oh, there is y'all. Woo! these oh you guys are yeah you guys already know what it is i cannot wait for this release to uh come out check it out check it out check it out you guys already see it, guys these are the flight um box here all black and no cement or anything so you guys already know all right and this is my size size nine check it out check it out check it out and let's open up real quick I'll take a little box, got that little whole like iridescent to it, like galaxy look to it. This reminds me of the Zen Master, how they had it on their box. But uh, hopefully these things actually come to America. They're supposed to come out into America. So here it is, guys. Let's take a look, take a look, take a look. And it's, woo! That is right, man. Oh, 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 man. I think I'm one of the first and I can't remember who actually did I'm I'm probably not the first I'm never the first but you know still I'm I'm early I tell you that much I am early because I think these things are supposed to release sometime towards the end of October according to Z sneakerhead but my people's over at uh, DG reserve had a couple pairs I was like yo let me get let me get one you know especially my size and whoo these are some heat Oh, am I getting high BC on these things? I might be, but this is a clean colorway. This is super freaking nice, y'all. Like seriously, you guys can't can't lie. These these are actually pretty nice. Now, I saw some pictures on it, and it did not do it justice. These are way better in hand. Look at it, like like that uh, 
I think a lot of people complain about how this uh, suede material is up here and this is canvas because these are called the black canvas Air Jordan 4s. But it looks good with it. It's, it's, it doesn't really look too off setting to it. Like, you know, like it doesn't, you know, sets it off or, or anything. It, it, it looks fleshed out. Like it looks fine. And yeah, man, this is a nice, good looking colorway. Simple, clean good my goodness yeah this is one of those shoes it won't get dirty too as well that's why i like it man and you guys already know air jordan fours is the new wave now a lot of people's getting hyped on air jordan fours yeah definitely i mean what do you guys think is this the best air jordan four that came out so far this year i mean what well, other random ones i think and then the main ones these are the three right if i'm not mistaken we had the military blacks i think a lot of people's gonna like the military blacks better but yeah man the black camera is not that much like it's it's pretty close and i just like the offsetting of the colorways from this gray to the black man that looks really great because i know a lot of people's like well, well you know probably gonna say in the comments i have the red thunders why do i need the black canvas because look this colorway man this looks great like that man this looks really freaking nice these are really really nice man and i know a lot of people are gonna say these are like the poor man's m and uh pe's or you know uh, special they look pretty close to the m and i never had one in hand i have seen one in person the m and that's when i was in new york at flight club and they look pretty close material wise color wise i think m and of course they got the e in the back and of course it has like the you know the um, these are like shiny or chrome like uh, outlets outlets are right here you know that kind of sets it off and of course the soles on the m ms are like smoked out translucent these are just regular air jordan uh bottoms here you guys see it i can't wait for this release man i think a lot of people are going to get hyped on these things to be honest you know they might not be going for much but i'm gonna tell you guys right now if these things go if these things touch like like mid 200s i'm gonna buy up every pair I, 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 I promise I will, you know, just look how much these things went up crazy. Like these things were like touching like high 200s, 300s. They didn't really go down that much. And man, I wish I could have gr grabbed up every single pair at 300. Ford has been, they, they go crazy now, man. They, there's just that new, it's a new thing. A lot of people love Air Jordan 4s. Hey, they cool. You know, I like them. I still love my Air Jordan 1s though. So can't, can't complain, but I feel like JB, uh, Nike, and Jordan, they've been doing their thing with Air Jordan 4 this year. I can't really complain too bad about some of the colorways that they've been coming out. I mean, maybe the purple ones I'm kind of like, eh, about, and the Zen Masters. But other than that, the main one that we've been getting, the Black Canvas, the, um, the military, military Blacks, and the Red Thunders. I can't complain with the materials, the colorway. I feel like they've been doing a great job, Jay, uh, with Nike and JB's been doing. They've been doing, I think they've been putting putting out some really solid colorways. So hopefully that continues to happen. And I think we're supposed to get another colorway of the Navy, uh, Midnight Navy uh, white cement look -up joints that's coming out later too as well. So, you know, clean colorways with Air, jo Air Jordan 4s. Hopefully Nike and them can keep it up, man. See some crazy whack colorways of some Air Jordan 4s. And the good thing about Air Jordan 4s is that they don't come out like Air Jordan ones. Like I feel like Air Jordan ones sometimes come out like once a week, twice a week. Sometimes it's been steady like every other like two months or some of that. You know, we only had like a couple colorways here and there, a couple releases of Air Jordan for it. So I'm glad they haven't really like saturated and just flooded market with just random colorways. So, but still, this is a nice looking shoe, guys. You guys, let me know. Are these some heat? Do you guys like these things or not? Are you guys gonna cop these things when these things release? I don't know. I think some people are going to say in the comments they're going to pass, but once release date, I think a lot of people are going to try to get these things. I really do. But anyway, guys, uh, like again, I will see you guys in Baltimore for the release. Shout out to DG Reserve. They're going to be opening the second store in Baltimore. I'll be up there. Me and Roscoe are going to be up there. A lot of giveaways, raffles, free sneakers, all kind of stuff, man. So make sure you guys come through. And the store is looking really nice. I saw some pictures. They got like a whole like... Thing that kind of looks like um like flight club or something it looks like like a real museum look to it so i'm actually really excited for this one anyway guys i appreciate y'all i love y'all if you guys don't mind please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when i do drop vids and don't forget to follow me on my social media at german chris and ig sometime on twitter and don't forget snapchat anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all I'm Jeff McCris.
Heusch. Pfiou.